Well, I'm glad you stuck around because in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily manage asterisks with a freely available web interface. Uh, this time, you're probably thinking asterisk is such a complicated thing. You have to know about voice protocols, extensions, contacts, and many other stuff in order to build this. And it all takes too much time and effort to lose. Moreover, you'll have to know something about configuring and running Linux and some other software that asterisk needs to run smoothly. Yeah, that's true. And you're not the only one who was thinking this. Actually, there was a bunch of guys who thought about this too. And guess what? They wrote an amazing looking and easily adaptable full feature web interface. And they put it on a CD and they made it free and open source. So anybody can download it and use it free of charge. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely free. It's an easy web interface for Asterix along with a pre-installed Linux appliance that is prepared to run and installed off the CD in just a few easy steps. It's called Trixbox. In order to download it, you have to go to the website, which is called Trixbox.org, and you're going to choose the Trixbox CE, which stands for the Community Day Edition. From there, you're going to choose the download. And here comes another amazing surprise. If you're a home user, chances are that you don't have a spare computer to play with installing Linux and Asterix. So you have another option. You can down a VMware image with Linux on it and it's pre-configured Asterix with the web interface of Trixbox already installed, configured for easy usage. So if you're not familiar with VMware, it's a virtualization software that allows your computer to run another operating system within it. You don't have to change anything in your hard drives or make any partitions. So basically you're sharing your resources with multiple operating systems. So the Trixbox, they have a free product um, that allows you to run in something called VM Player. And VM Player allows you to run an existing image of operating systems. So this will suit our needs 100%. So the first thing you need to do is get to the VM player. So what you're going to do is you're going to download it from VMware.com. And once you get to VMware.com, you're going to go to the products and then go to desktop virtualization platform and then choose a VM player. There it is. Once you've downloaded and installed VM Player, we're going to continue and download the Trixbox VMware image archive. After downloading and unpacking the Trixbox image, you have to run your VMware player, click on the open button, and find a place where you've unpacked your image of Trixbox. And then click on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 file, and as you can see, the VMware player is starting. It's going to take some time. And now, here's the magic. Linux is booting. So starting up. You're going to need this system to get information on how to access it. So you're going to have to log in. To do this, type in root as the username and Trixbox as a password, all letters are lowercase. So how are you going to access the web interface? Just go ahead and type in your browser. And you're going to type it in your browser and you'll be taken to the interface of your newly installed configured asterisk system. That was easy.